deliveries being made to your home without delivery drivers. A tech company right now is partnering with businesses like Kroger and also Domino's to deliver orders in a driverless vehicle. And this new technology will be built and tested right here in Southern Nevada. 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia shows you how this could be a game changer for our economy. Delivery services in the Las Vegas Valley will be getting a whole lot easier. All you have to do is simply walk up to the autonomous vehicle, insert your code. Great, opening doors. And you can retrieve your items. This company is not only helping to make delivery more accessible, it's also boosting our local economy. The net overall economic impact is going to be on the order of 2.2 billion over the next 10 years. Neuro is an autonomous delivery company with plans to expand the Las Vegas Valley, investing $40 million to build two facilities, a manufacturing facility and a test track. Governor Sisolak says this will provide 250 new jobs, helping us recover from the pandemic. We lost a lot of people from jobs, especially in hospitality, that we're never going to get back. I mean, we're just not going to return all these bags. So we need to have a new uh, work field that we can train people to get into. Opening doors. Robots taking over people's jobs? A fear for some. Co-founder and president of Neuro, Dave Ferguson, says his company will be creating entirely new jobs with his technology. As opposed to sort of replacing existing jobs, most of these deliveries don't exist today. Right? If you look at groceries, where something like 3 to 4 percent of groceries are delivered, we anticipate that that's going to be more like 50 percent once you can get a grocery delivery service that can do it incredibly affordably. The projected average starting wage for these jobs will be $27.50. Governor Sisolak says we must be mindful of our future, bringing in more tech companies to speed up the recovery from this pandemic. But they should solve some of the labor shortages that were existing, and it's going to really transfer the labor from the driving to another function. Thanks. See you soon. Ferguson says safety is their number one priority when it comes to their autonomous vehicles. It's a further commitment to our long-term uh, goal of making sure that we are putting out an unbelievably safe vehicle and really contributing to the overall safety of roads and communities as a result. The governor's office of economic development is expecting these facilities to be completed in 2022. Abel Garcia, 13 Action News.